What's up guys, this is Casey from Casey's Customs. In this series, I am building a hot rod truck for under a thousand dollars. And in this video, we get all the lights installed. Boom, let's get going. Hey, where can I get shirts? I have all that figured out now. It's on a clickable link in the description. I have a ton of different designs. Every single shirt, every single size, every single color. You can mix it all up, whatever you want. But check that out if you're interested. Thanks. We're going to go ahead and start this episode with me cleaning the shop because it's an absolute train wreck right now. Uh, I only usually work here at night. I've said that a couple times. I usually only work on this project at night. I have customer cars during the day. And because I only get like an hour at a time, I just come over, work on the truck, and leave. Everything is just everywhere and it's starting to bug me. So let's tidy this bitch up real quick. It's gonna be a couple hours, so we're gonna definitely put it on time lapse. So we finally got the shop clean. So now it's time to make it dirty again. These are obviously not the best headlight buckets on the planet. They're actually pretty shitty, pretty rusty, but obviously I can't drop 200 bucks on new headlight buckets. So I'm gonna try and restore these a little bit. I got new retaining rings for them, and then I got uh, some good used headlight rings that go over the top of them. But I want to, I want to get some WD-40 on these screws so that hopefully I can take everything out if, and adjust it if I need to. And also I'm gonna go ahead and rewire it. So let's do that. They are very cruddy. That is 70 year old wiring. Ooh, that's a bitch. So, I got some halo headlights. These, I think this, this will glow. Oh, actually, never mind. This will glow any damn color I want. I thought they were orange originally, but uh, I can make them whatever. I got these were on sale real cheap. They were like 45 bucks, 43 bucks, something like that. I figured I'd give them a shot. If I don't like them, I'll go back with just some standard ones. The standard ones are 20, so I mean, they're damn near the same price. So I figured I'd try these. They're kind of a little bit cooler. I have these on my 55 shop truck, and I, I turn them blue on my shop truck. They look cool as hell. The only problem is, these are obviously for like a newer model. So my mounts don't line up exactly where they need to be, so we're gonna have to uh, kind of adjust them a little bit. But I should be able to make it work. I'm just gonna have to cut those buckets up. But these things are pure shit, so I don't really feel bad about cutting them up. <laughs> uh, good news, the uh, metal shop just called me and they got the running boards done. So we're gonna take a break from the headlights for a minute, the rusty pieces of shit that they are. And we're gonna go pick up the running boards. Let's roll. Few moments later. Check them out, just picked them up. Perfect. It was uh, 47 bucks, so 50 bucks for my running boards is pretty good. I'll take it. Now let's get them back to the shop. Running boards. But I want to finish up restoring these headlight buckets until I move on to these. They actually are needing a little bit of modification to run those newer bulbs, and they're just rustier and shit. And also, the headlight ring mount is broke off of this one, so we got to make one real quick. Trying not to jump around as much one thing to the other. I want to just... Do something, finish it, move to the next step. This little mount right here, whenever the ring is on, that's what it screws into. That's what holds it. And this one is broke off. So we gotta make that little mount. Stop, stop moving, stop moving, stop moving. Three quarters of an inch. Okay, let's go bend it. Okay, now let's see. The other side needs to be bent to the other way, right? I forgot which way it needs to go. Okay, so this, this is up. Wait. Fuck, I gotta go look at it. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. I need to bend it the other way. Okay, let's go over to the bench vice then. So I uh, messed up and did all that ass backwards, but that's okay. It'll still work. With, that's why you got a vice. Oh, we fucked this up. We 
fucked that up, man. We should be able to fix it. <laughs> I should have bent the other way first. Come on, baby. There we go. bucket is not the same one so maybe uh maybe the years are different on these because i gotta i gotta make another mount up top so i think i got the wrong shit cool let's go mount them so uh funny story i thought i still had the headlight from the lincoln laying around and what I was going to do with the headlight was plug it in to the headlight plug-in, and then I could run my wires from that plug-in to my new headlights for the 544. Fortunately, I can't find those headlights. I think I threw them away because they weren't worth anything. So, or I might have sold them. I don't remember. So now we have to trace down the wires. I can't find a wiring diagram for the headlights anywhere. I can find other things, but I can't find the headlights. So we're going to do this the old-fashioned way. I'm going to hook the battery back up and start just testing wires to see which one. I have a pretty good idea of which grouping it should be, but we got to do that now. Which sucks, but it's my own fault. So let's do that. We got them working. Cool. I don't know if that's picking up on the video or not, but I kind of hate that the ring don't look cool. Oh, wow, it's dancing. <laughs> All right, let's test them. See what's up. Should be good. Okay, maybe not. Right, bro. Okay, let's try again. Take two. So, uh, good news. I, they're not bad. The battery was dead. <laughs> so, I've been going over all my wiring for about 20 minutes, and I just realized the battery only has 7 volts. So, I'll charge the battery, and we'll do this again. So, I got the tail lights in today. I don't love this grill. It's kind of too hardcore. <laughs> it's just a little too much, I think. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this grill off. And I think I'm gonna cut these ribs off and just sand them smooth and then repaint it black. The reason I did this, this was specifically for this build. These tail lights with this ribbed whatever, grill, I guess you'd say, these were on sale for, I think it was 14 bucks a tail light or 12 bucks a tail light, maybe. I'll have to check my receipt. That normal tail light that I wanted for the 50 three four truck this is kind of actually like a stock it looks like a stock tail light almost this was like 27.99 a tail light or 29.99 so for some reason they probably had a overstock thing but for some reason with this stupid grill on it it's a lot cheaper i would just run it like that but i think that grill actually holds that lens in let's modify this grill let's cut the shit out of it so while the battery charges on that we are going to cut these up That's a lot better, baby. Cool. And these came out awesome. I am super happy I did that. Sweet. Okay, let's whip up some quick mounts. These are pretty, these are pretty easy. I really just need a piece of uh, thick plate to hold it up.
battery should be charged. <laughs> ah, that's awesome. Man, those are bright as shit. We got tail lights and headlights, baby. Thank you guys very much for watching. As you can see in this video, I got the running boards picked up from the sheet metal shop, but I ran out of time this week to get them installed. So in the next video, we're gonna get the running boards installed. And also I'd like to take it for a drive. The farthest I've driven it so far has been out in the driveway and then back in, so about 20 feet. <laughs> so I'd like to actually take it around the block. I'd like to do that on the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff they say to do at the end of videos and check out some more of my other videos. Peace. Sitting like a boss, bring the workers out. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound, get yeah, that sound good.